Hey everyone, and welcome to part 12 of Spyro, Year of the Dragon. So, yeah, in the last episode we just finished off Spooky Swamp, which is where I'm leaving from. I kind of forgot to leave in the last video, or between videos, so. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be going up here to the level known as Bamboo Terrace, which I did mention two, three episodes ago. I forget how long it was since we went to the home world. So I have a feeling that this Let's Play is going to be probably 30-ish parts by the road that's going. So anyways, listen to that beautiful music. Okay, it's okay. It's not really that interesting. But we got panda bears we got to deal with. So it's like an Asian-based level. I think it's based on China, I believe. It might be based on... No, it might be Japan. I can't quite remember. But we have to rescue the pandas that are being held captive by certain creatures. Our enemies, you know, and then it spirals. See, the panda will just move forward, and then we will go and move this. So I believe it takes the two of the uh, two of the two of them, pardon me, to open that up. And then we got Zoe, which apparently won't. There we go. Won't zap us. These guys can be annoying because they'll just come out of nowhere. Wow, first egg already. I think it's just one egg we can't get here. And we got Dwight. Bringing us to 67 eggs already. And it looks like there's something up there that we can get. So I assume we have to go this way to get it. It's just, you know, the more obvious of the uh, situations. Yeah, these guys, be prepared for them to hit you with their little umbrellas. While they may be big and carry little weapons, they are very, very accurate and fast with them. And we already got our second egg. See, like, I already told you this place is going to be at, uh, small. And we got Madison, which actually looked like a boy dragon. Just like how uh, Thelonious generally is a male name, but apparently it was a dragon with a bow. Unless it's like a gender-confused dragon, or maybe even a gay dragon. I don't know. And Oh, they opened up the lever. Or pulled the lever, which opened up the bridge, pardon me. And apparently my gem disappeared. There it is. Okay, looks like we can just go in the water. Now there is something funny, because I believe there's a spot in the wall down here you can break. And then it actually gives you a bunch of lives, which... Or it gives you a live. I'm, I can't quite remember. I believe it's, I believe it's in the cracked wall here. Yeah, there's four lives in here. It's like the most obvious spot, too. It's kind of like how in um, Molten Crater, no, not Molten Crater, that was this game. Magma Cone, in the last game, uh, there was that one ledge that had a ton of lives. It's kind of like that. I don't know why they do that. Like, uh, I can kind of see this level being difficult for one of the challenges, but the challenge doesn't actually cost you health or lives. It's just one of those challenges, you know, that like if you get hit or something gets hit, then you lose. But actually, I don't even think you take damage there. Oh, we do have that mystery vase, the one that you have to follow back for gems. It makes its debut in this game at this level. Then I think you see it for quite a few worlds afterward. Like, I don't get why that feature isn't brought in earlier, and then just every so often you see it again. Not like, oh, here it is. Now this is weird because there's actually just a little water spot down here with a few gems. I think, yeah, I think there's two vases and then two loose gems. Oh, this guy is dare shoot his rockets at me. Um, apparently, apparently my flames keep missing. Still killed him though, nonetheless. And we already have like, by the time we get to the ending of the level, we're gonna have three eggs already. Like, jeez, and I don't want to risk that. Goodbye, dude. Ah, uh, yes. Can I grab that gem from down here? No. Sparks, even though he can grab from a long range, he can't grab that far away apparently. Anyways, we'll grab these gems and then talk to this pen. Da -da. We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Okay, what is it? And we got Tom the Egg. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it right away. Oh yeah, the bridge. This connects the beginning and the end of the level. And we actually have to watch him go in the portal. So yeah, we got like a sign with what looks like a Yeti. 
So yeah, looks like we're not going to be able to complete it until we get that guy. Which I wonder where he could be. Anyways, we got this, which... Weird, that actually didn't go closer to the beginning of the level. That actually took us closer to the end of the level again. Which then it's by the water, guys. Now, for that bridge that opened up, there actually is an uh, egg we can get. And it's this guy, the egg thief. He uses the bridge to get across. Because apparently, you know... Thieves just use easy access. Get out of the way, enemy. This, kid, this thief can actually be quite difficult. Like, he's not really hard, but, you know, like, look at that. Just by, like, how there's no shortcuts, you can't really cut him off. Thank you, game, for dropping me in the water. Might as well pick up some health and actually, might as well get this vase. And now it's just over. See, it's weird in this level because it doesn't really go all the way back. And now it's just in in the doorway, like three times in a row. It's like right there. And now it's behind the uh, panda rock, right out this door. And this should be right at the beginning. Like, see, that is not difficult. I don't know why it was so easy. Like, it, it wasn't even really that separated. And it gives you a lot of gems in it, too. But I hope the thief came back to its normal spot. Though, before we go to the thief, let's do this challenge. Which, um, all you have to do is you just have to jump into the fire and then save the villagers from the oncoming Rhinox. And why do you have to walk so slow? So, first person shooter mode for the spiral game. Let's do this. So, yeah, they'll start to climb. But remember, you can't hit them either, because if you hit the the pandas, you actually lose. And as a kid, I didn't know that, so every time I would be doing this, I would just shoot rapidly, and then I would accidentally hit the uh, the pandas as well as the rhinox. And now, once you clear all the houses, there will be bridges that open up. And you should be the last one. Now it should be bridges. You should be gone, and same with you. What? No! How do we... Like, how did he not get hit? I'm gonna try using the D-pad here instead of the... Eh. Will the D-pad do any better than the analog stick? No, it's actually really slow moving. So we don't want to do that. So here we go. I don't think we have to worry about hitting the pandas unless you have very terrible aim here. So, like, we just shoot and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, why is it some of them don't... Some of them don't die, like, when you want them to. It's kind of weird. Now right, we should have one left and then the bridge. There we go. Now it should be the bridges. Which means you're going down. There, now we actually heard him go down. Like there's three or four bridges. There might be four. I can't quite remember. Oh gosh, we just made it there. Why is this get one so easy compared to the last one? And that was the last one apparently. So we got this egg, which is rusty. And it was a little girl. And then it automatically brings us back here. So we'll have 71 eggs when we finish this level. And then we have to... Uh... Come back. Wait. Wait, so this doesn't actually connect the... Okay, it does. No, it doesn't really connect the begin... Oh, wait. There you are. I'm like, where the heck is the thief? Like, if we did all that, I'm like, where the heck is the thief, man? Oh yeah, that, that was bull, man. Okay, see, how does he get ahead so fast? This kind of like reminds me of the canary in uh, Banjo-Tooie. Oh god, guys, my screen is gone. Guys, I completely lost my screen. Hang on a second here. My screen is completely black. So, let me see if I can fix it by replugging in the HDMI cord. I don't know what is going on here. 
So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's all uh, back to normal here. There we go. Now I have my screen. I apologize. Like, you guys had it, but for some reason the connection in my screen failed, and apparently the thief actually waited patiently for me. And then we got him, so... Woo! Pee-wee Herman. And there, we got everything we can get here for now. And then... Yeah, we're missing uh, 89 gems, but we know we're missing 100. And I always think there's 400, not 500. Let's head on over to the whirly gig. The whirly gig. Okay, well, let's hop on the whirly gig and go to Evening Lake, which is the next world. So off we go to see the wonderful Wizard of Whirly Gigs. And trust me, we're going to have to spend a lot of money on money bags here. My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight. So wait, if you're if you're dropping me ammunition and your ammo doesn't f work, then how does that work? It's actually just balls of lava that he drops in. And just wait patiently. Because he'll shoot twice, and then we don't want him to shoot while we're attacking. And then we'll try and attack him with this, and we did. He hasn't started his second phase yet. Okay, there's the second phase. Okay, which means... We now have like waves of fire, which means we have to get close to him. Ow! There we go, we got close to him. Now he jumps again. And there we go, he should be on his third and final phase, I believe. Yeah, see, he doesn't pound the ground though that time. And we got like missiles. Now, I do believe one of our Sparks ability in this game is extra health, but that might be a different game. And there goes Spike, which then gives us Monique, which that boss fight was seriously like a minute. Really good music though in the boss fights. Oh, we actually have... Okay, wait. Well, since we were on the edge, we actually had control of uh, our character, but we were too far away from the Whirly Gig, apparently. Apparently, we have the Zephyr background every time we go from world to world, which is kind of weird, but what can you do? Anyways, we're now here, which I think Bianca actually hits us right away. Listen to me, dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it. Just go! Before what? And now I believe there's 700 gem... Or, no. 600 gems per level here, then 700 in the final. So we have the sunrise... Actually, I think the uh, homeworld music is the same in every level here. But it reminds me of sunrise spring here. I don't know why, just like the music. So it looks like we're building a rocket this time. Because, you know, apparently we can't just get from world to world. Anyways, so yes, this could be very interesting. There's something over here. What do we have in here? Oh, this is where Sparks comes in this world, apparently. So we don't need that yet, and I believe there is an egg over here. Yes, we have Hannah. 73 eggs already, holy cow. Now, and I believe our buddy is in here. Yeah, which, yeah, he's an Eddie, uh, an Eddie, that's, that's, uh, that's a, what, a thing of water, I believe, an Eddie is, but no, he's a Yeti, and, uh, yeah, we're not gonna free him in this video, I'll do that next video, because I like to go to his level the time we free him, now, 
another. Remember, you're gonna start seeing a lot more big gems in a level or a ton of small gems. Like each of these is worth like 10. Okay, so we do have another level in this area and it is called the Charmed Ridge. Now that level can be very difficult. Here's our speedway, which is Honey Speedway. Probably my favorite speedway of all time in any Spyro game. It looks magnificent. Not going to lie. And oh, for one of the eggs, get eaten by the whale. <laughs> it's Jonah. Jonah Hill or, uh, you know. Eh, yeah, it's probably Jonah Hill. And then he'll spit us out. Anyways, let's go back and collect some of the gems. Oh, yeah, I did not. Oh, hang on. There's another egg right here. Like, these eggs are really ridiculously easy to find. Maybe except for the whale one, but it's kind of suspicious when there's a whale that doesn't hurt you. Oh, we got Stooby. Okay, weird. And anyways, I don't think I showed you guys the level up here, which is Frozen uh, Altars, which is actually a very difficult level. Actually, all these levels, I believe, are probably the most difficult in the game, even though it's not the final world. The final world is difficult, but there's a lot of easy eggs to get in them. And this is Fireworks Factory. Yeah, Fireworks Factory. And it uh, features Hansel and... Uh, no, what? Hansel? Whatever the guys from the previous game are. I don't think they're named Hansel Gretel. But Lost Fleet. Uh, that level can be very annoying. And it features skateboarding again. For the third time. And then I don't believe you do skateboarding again until the very, very, very post game of the game. And that is like the hardest part of the entire game. Trust me, when I said skateboarding was going to be in this game, I meant it. There might be like a huge blooper reel at the end of this uh, series, depending on how well I can beat the special world. Which, you do get a few eggs and stuff in it, but it's very difficult. Okay, and this is just the levels up here. This is the whale. Uh, whale of a good time. That's that's funny. I'm a, I'm a jokester. Apparently, there's a gem right here. Uh, we don't want to miss anything. I forget if we get the tracker sparks next, or if that's the like the last ability. It might be like the very last one. Okay, so it looks like we have to go over here to get up there. Yeah, I do believe this is where we actually get introduced to invincibility, which I won't let Zoe blabber on about it because we already know what invincibility does due to the other Spyro games. So we don't actually have to, you know, talk about it. This one is really fast. And we got Stuart Little. And he wears a baseball cap. That's kind of cute. And I believe the final egg is up on the castle somewhere. And... Whoa, those gems almost fell off. Wait. Oh, no way. Are we missing one gem? I really hope to. Oh, apparently. Oh wait, no, never mind. I forgot. We don't have an even total of gems. Oh, there's only 400 in the home worlds. Okay. And Ted, Ted Bundy. Ugh, God. So yeah, that does it for this episode, everyone. And in the next episode, we will be freeing our Yeti buddy, and then going after we free the Yeti buddy, we'll probably go back to Bamboo Terrace. And if we have time in that episode or not, we will go to the Sparks level. And probably the Speedway, because we do need to go Speedway here, because Hunter is needed. And Fireworks Factory, I believe, is the one level we're going to complete last year due to the fact that it has the next animal buddy. So, see you guys then.